Hey, 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 swing it. Hey guys, Naturally Nosey here today and we are gonna be introducing some new hair for protected style. This right here is by Vivica A. Fox and this is from her hair collection. So this is the hair that we're going to be using for today's style and one of the reasons I love this hair is because it comes with a pre-loop at the top of the hair. When I tell you it really cuts down a lot of time as far as just grabbing and installing and then the ends of the hair have a tight coil so you don't have to worry about it unraveling. Now I definitely do want to mention that I was able to wash and decondition my hair because it is a protective style and this product right here I would love to focus on. This is our hydro leave-in conditioner and when I tell you girl this is the perfect detangler, moisturizer, all of that. I definitely use this for most of the styles that I am using so that I could skip having to moisture during the week. Link below will be in the description box. Now we're going to begin to stop. What I'm going to do here is use about medium to large size section so you do want to go in and make sure that your hair is detangled and once you do that you want to start braiding with a three strand braid this is going to help when we're actually going to begin to put the needle in at the end all i do is just comb my hair so that it will stay in now you're going to take the crochet needle and insert it at the base of where you started the braid and that's when you're going to use the pre-loop lock place that on there put the little latch down and then gently just push it or pull it through the loop there in your hair Make sure that you open the loop again and all you're going to do is pull the actual lock through it and you'll be left with two strands of hair. Now the next step would be to conceal your hair inside of the lock and I slowed it down so you guys can see it. When you're using a hair that's similar to the one that I have, it's usually very coily. So as you saw, all I did was unravel a little bit and then I'm going to lightly twist. So it's kind of like a method where you'll get used to it by like muscle memory. So there you go, you see me twisting it down. So as you unravel, twist your hair inside the lock. As you unravel, twist your hair inside the lock. And you'll just continue to do that until everything is covered. And then once you get to the bottom and you know that there's no more of your hair exposed, you could kind of let go because the hair is very good quality. So it springs back and it holds your hair in place. So this is just a quick shot of showing you guys what the scalp looks like. I cannot tell you how like similar the freaking locks look to my hair like i love this style and i will be doing it so much more i'm going to give you guys one more demo so as you can see that is a medium sized section which we are then going to split into another section then you continue to braid just a little further down not all the way down make sure that you are moisturizing your ends i'm using that leave-in and then what i do to continue to keep the actual braid is to coil my hair around and that's what i'm left with i love that leave-in conditioner because it just has a look it's so juicy but then once you're done with that you're going to insert your needle make sure the hook is on close the latch so you don't get any snags and then you're going to just draw it through do it again when you draw the lock through its natural form and then from there you're going to remember unravel twist unravel twist unravel the hair twist the hair until it's starting to form in a sphere and your hair is already protected inside the lock as you see here so hopefully that is going to give you guys some guidelines. Now let's talk about baby hairs. If you are going to do this style where you're going to have baby hairs exposed, make sure that you're keeping them moisturized because you know we're going to gel them down. My products always work for my hair. So this is me continuing to go in with the hydro leave-in conditioner. And guys, you always ask me what I use in my hair and I tell you it's usually my product. So you can get that down below. Now for shine and moisture, I'm going to use this spray right here, which I'll also have down below. And this is mainly for the synthetic hair, which is the locks. I'm also going to go ahead and do a little bit of a scalp massage because some of the oil is getting on your scalp during this style it's okay if you do go in with a light oil i'm thinking of doing a um nighttime hair routine so i can show you guys how i keep my scalp and my hair protected underneath but that oil is really good for keeping the luster and the shine in the locks and that's why i'm spraying that on there now i just want to show you guys a close-up of the hair itself and like i said it just looks so natural like i've never used hair that looked this similar to my actual natural hair so it's just like wow now we're gonna jazz it up and this is the fun part. And I got these little clasps here. They're like little cuffs actually for your locks. I got them at my beauty supply store, probably like about five bucks a pack or if less. And placement is pretty spontaneous. I knew I was gonna be wearing my hair up so I wanted to place them up at the top. I placed them at the ends of my hair, just anywhere where I think it's gonna look cute. And now that we're done, let's get mm. into the review. Mm. 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 I love this hair. Hey guys, Dr. Nelsie here today and I am back with the final 
review and thoughts on this hair and I am very proud of myself. Now I'm gonna get through the commonly asked questions. Of course, the first thing that most gals wanna know is girl, how long did it take you? It took me four hours to install the entire thing. And I only used about three packs of hair to actually complete the entire style. I also love the fact that each individual lock was pre-looped so that definitely does cut down a lot of time when you are trying to install it. And for the most part, you know, nothing's tugging, nothing's coming out. It's obviously synthetic hair, it's not real human hair, so it will tangle. But for the most part, the hair, you know, it, it doesn't get too tangled with each other. This hair is super lightweight, like I'm not joking. The last time I did this style with the previous hair, it was heavy, like super heavy. But this right here is not heavy at all. Like when I'm walking, I can swing it. I don't feel like, you know, my edges are swinging off with it and wearing it up all day when I'm at home just to preserve, like, you know, the um, style of it. it. I get used to it. Like, after a while, you get used to it. I only use about three packs of these, and I should say three and a half, because in the third pack, I didn't even use all the hair. I went for a medium kind of to large section, and if you don't use as much hair, it won't be as heavy. So those are just two things to keep in mind when you are doing the style. This has to be the absolute best experience that I've ever had with crochet hair. Everyone has complimented me on this look. I'm not even trying to G my head up y'all. I just feel like it's a very easy style to work with and if you you know are trying it out for the first time this hair is gorgeous. It has a natural wave to the hair and I love that. I love wavy hair like it's just gorgeous. Now I got my color in a 1B and the length on these are um I believe it is yes 20 inches so I'll get up and show you guys exactly what it up see there, there we go see that's that snag and I was talking about I'm standing up so you guys can see exactly what I mean with the length of the hair and like I said it definitely does stretch out so if you were to stretch it all the way down it goes a little like almost like all in a booty crack. I'm 4'11 so this is pretty much where the hair stops like naturally on me. But I'm thinking about filming something for like a nighttime maintenance how I keep the hair and make sure that it's not getting all you know like frazzled, frizzy, how I protect my scalp, my edges and everything else. And I'm also thinking about revisiting one of my like old true videos where I actually do different styles with you know a protective style. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing those two videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.